Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share some blessing mail that I got from my really good friend, Ida Martinez, who is created to create. Thank you, Ida, so much. She sent me a large priority box and I am so anxious to dig in and see what she sent me. Um, for those of you who know Ida and Sabrina, who is the S Factor Studio, uh, the three of us are sisters in Christ, and we're like a um, triangle. We were met. We met through doing um, Faithful Fridays, and we've become very strong for each other and for others. And um, we all three share birthdays this month, and I think Sabrina's birthday is coming up soon. So, anyways, I wanted to open up my video by. Um, showing this again uh sabrina had made i think ida got one too um a prayer stand it looks like this and it's on my desk so before i check it it's on my desk where i'm working during the day so it's by my computer screen and so i was reading it this morning um while i was opening ida's box and i wanted to share it with you today uh, for i am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor, thi nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verses 38 through 39. And in this time of um, hardship and this virus that's ravaging our world um, we need to remind ourselves to be strong in our faith and to cry out to the Lord to ask him to pray for him to talk to him to know show that our heart is with him and that we know his love and um, he will protect us and we send out many prayers because in Hawaii our numbers are like doubling every day it's um, growing really fast and so we are under quarantine now so um, I am working from home and I am crafting at night so and I'm also cleaning and I'm spending time with my family and I'm um, thankful for everything and every day that I have so with that let me um, start opening up Ida's box so Ida went to Tuesday morning and she picked up some goodies for me. Thank you so much, sis. Look at this. These are really small bows. It's from Little Birdie. And look at these bows. They are little satin bows. So cute. Love it. And then look at these butterflies. Gold they're gold butterflies, and I think this is by Little Birdie, too. This is really cute. Just what you need, this extra little pop when you do some of your projects. Thank you, Ida. And then from Little Birdie are these roses, and they match the butterflies. This is really nice with the um, leaves on it. You know, I know when the Holy Spirit touches me, um, is in me because my throat gets really tight and I can feel Him in me. And I'm so glad I get to share with all of you and you let me share with you. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's move on. Um, I got some chipboard and cork and wood sticker pack and it's a baby pack. So this is really cute because, as you know, I have two grandchildren, grandsons. One is seven and one is seven months. Just made seven months. Bow Bunny. I love Bow Bunny. Love, love, love Bow Bunny. So this is some um, chipboard pieces on for Easter. And thank you, Ida, because I was going through my things and I really don't have any, hardly any Easter things. Um... I celebrate Easter with um, the death and resurrection of Jesus, but not too much the Easter bunny and hunting for eggs. But, you know, these things are um, really cutesy and we have eggs and we have bunnies. So 
<laughs> love it. I love this. And here is a matching um, ephemera pack. I don't think you see it too good, but really cute. I just love pastel colors. Th those are my favorite color scheme. And here she got me the matching paper. Thank you so much. So it's a six by six bow bunny. Oh, this is really nice. Let's see if I can take some time out. I'm trying to do this video and I'll load it and then I have to check in for work. I saw a piece of paper saw a paper that I love. This is what I saw. I love this. I love flowers. I love butterflies. This is cute, the colors. Thank you, Ida. Okay, so that is that part. Let me move it on to the side. Okay, and then she gifted me some pom-poms. This is cute. Look, it has little fuzzies on it. And I'm really using, liking the use of pom-poms for, for my embellishment. I've been using it for my flower centers as well. Thank you. And look, Ida. <laughs> you must have watched one of my videos because um, Jennifer gifted me all these um, foam glitter balls. And I used some of these red ones during the Christmas season. And for the life of me, I don't know where I put my open pack. And so I know it's going to show up because I'm starting to clean. So thank you, Ida. I just, I can have, I cannot have too many of these foam balls. Thank you. Okay, then she gifted me some, oh, this is neat. It's a stamp cleaning cloth. So all you do is add water and you can wipe off your stamps. This is really nice. I saw some ladies um, use this. Thank you so much. I'm going to use this because I want to start stamping more. Okay, and then she gifted me this bottle of confetti. Oh, this is really pretty. These are heart hearts. Op there are some open hearts and some closed hearts. And um, Target had these all during Valentine's and I was looking for some because people were hauling it and I just found a few bottles. So thank you for this. I love my sequins. And then she gifted me a yard each of these Waverly um, solid cotton fabric. And this is really pretty. This is my favorite color and I just love pink and mint green together. And they have flowers on it beautiful I'm going to I need to I do have a sewing machine and I do dabble in some sewing I'm not a great sewer seamstress but I think I can do some basic things so this will be really good and I can make something with it thank you let me close my blade before I jab myself okay let's dig in more into the spot Ooh. She gifted me a pom-pom and tassel maker by Red Heart. Red Heart is that yarn brand. Wow. Look, you can make multiple pom-poms in minutes. So I guess he put it together. And you can just wrap your yarn and it'll make several pom-poms all at once. Can you see the picture here? Wow, that's really neat. I never saw something like this. And here's the instructions. I guess it makes one long piece. And here you just wrap it around. Oh, here you wrap it around these big end pieces. You tie at the different intervals and cut. Wow, that is really neat. Look, you can make four in one at one time. And I think it can. you can also make tassels. See, like this. Thank you so much, Ida. Yay. I can go to town making tassels and pom-poms. Wow, what is this? Okay, so she gifted me a five-piece gift set. So it has three magnets. Look at those magnets. They're beautiful magnets. 
And then there is a, sorry for the glare. There is a notepad in here. And it is, I need my glasses, I can't see, but there's a scripture on the bottom here. And I'm not sure if every page is the same or it's different ones. And it has a memo board. Thank you so much, Ida. This is really, really nice. Thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh, Ida. She gifted me a We Are Memory Keepers, a mini guillotine cutter. Awesome. Thank you so much. This is really good to cut um, pieces really quickly. I've seen some of the crafters use a guillotine cutter. I do have one, but it's really big. I bought it mm, maybe like 20 years ago. And it I've never needed to change the blade on my guillotine yet. It's one of those really um, expensive brands, um, industrial. But I keep it downstairs. It's really heavy, so I have to go downstairs in my supposedly my craft room to cut but this is really good to keep next to me thank you so much and it has a hold a hold um you know it can hold your paper and then cut so it doesn't slip thank you so much Ida this is really nice that's a really nice gift okay and there is a bigger box in here so let me grab it kind of opened up a little so this has a perfect impressions printing but it's in a box I'm not I don't think it's what's in here because this looks like this is paper but let me read this she said hi ginger these are the wood pieces I wanted to use on a project for you but they are too large I hope you can do something with them Okay, last year Ida had told me she had found some pieces of wood and she was thinking of doing a project for me because the pieces reminded her of me. And so let's open it and see what it is. Oh, wow, Ida. Oh, this is so beautiful. Can you see her? This is called Kahiko. Kahiko is an ancient hula that was um, performed before the, I guess, the Westerners came to Hawaii. And uh, Kahiko is with um, chanting and using traditional instruments so such as you know the um ipo this is beautiful and look at him so you know men are very good uh dancers as well and so this is beautiful i'm speechless this is really, really nice. Just the details on it. It is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Ida. I really appreciate it. I have to think of how I'm going to use these pieces. Oh, wow, look. And there is a palm tree. It's so pretty. I'm I just don't know what to say. Oh, this is so beautiful, Ida. Okay, the Lord will tell me what to do with these pieces. What to make with it. If I put it on a plaque or 
I'm going to think of, oh, and there's little pieces in here. Oh, maybe they fell off somewhere. I'm going to find where they came from and put it back on. Might have been some adornments from the hula dancers. Well, and here is a chart of some of the woods that they use. So some, several of these might have been used, I'm sure is used on the pieces that you gave me, Ida. Wow, this is neat. I've never heard of some of these types of woods. So it says each wood art piece is laminated on the back and carefully coated with a thin layer of clear finish on the front for protection against moisture and changes in temperature. Since no staining or painting is involved, no fading of colors will occur. Rub each piece with a dry, um, dry soft cloth for with a minimal amount of lemon oil to preserve the natural beauty and shine of the wood. The attached wood tag is available, if available, can be affixed to your selection with any wood glue to give an added accent to your piece. Allow at least 15 minutes for drying. Oh, maybe it's this piece. Oh, this is really pretty, Ida. Thank you so much. Oh, here's more pieces. So I'm going to go through the box and make sure I grab out all the little pieces. Oh, here, I had it backwards. So it's a flower. So it might have came off from one of the Kahiko dancers. So I will go through it and make sure I grab all the little pieces. Thank you so much, Ida. This is um, very going to be very special. And it's always going to remind me of our friendship and the road, the path that God has put us on together. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love them. On that note, everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching and supporting me. I appreciate all your prayers that you have given me for my mom. Um, I apologize for getting so emotional yesterday. Um, I think it's just all around us, you know, it's just the emotions are very high. So um, one of my commoners, my subbies, had reminded me to um, really divulge myself into the Lord and that is what I'm doing I'm meditating on him and I'm on his word and I'm gonna draw from his strength to get me and everyone else through this so prayers to you all God bless you all thank you so much Ida love 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 you and I will see you really soon bye